Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I want us to discuss when Adventures Campus may open. Now, before we get to anything, I want to say this is my opinion. There's no confirmed date. There is we're only confirmed that Adventures Campus is opening this year, sometime this year. The theme parks are reopening April 30th, of course, but Avengers Campus will not open with the theme parks because of capacity limitations as well as they want to give it its own proper grand opening, not just, you know, have it just open with the parks because then it kind of diminishes the, you know, the grand opening, the hype feel of it, which makes total sense. But the real question is, when will it open? Well, it was supposed to open July 18th, 2020, as everyone may recall. Avengers Campus is done. I mean, people that have posted pictures from A Touch of Disney show it's done. It's ready to go. Uh, the theme parks are going to be opening at 25% capacity, most likely. is will most likely be in the orange chair for LA and Orange County as soon as next week. By Tuesday, as soon as, potentially. And maybe even 35% capacity by April 30th, which would be awesome. So the capacity should be a pretty decent for Avengers Campus. But I'm going to stick with and I'm going to go with this summer. But specifically July 9th or around there. Because as you know, one, not only is Avengers Campus done, but Avengers Campus just screams summer. It's, it's, it's full of, it's obviously Marvel Marvel's a big summer blockbuster type of movie deal. And uh, it'll get people, you know, Back to the parks and have something to do all the way through summer until the fall in which our holidays come. And hopefully the capacity maybe can increase further than 35% by July 9th. But also because obviously Black Widow just moved to July 9th. Disney just moved Black Widow to July 9th and they made it a day and date release. So it's going to release on Disney Plus and in movie theaters on July 9th. Now if they did that. Um, if they didn't do the day and date release, they should have kept it. You think maybe they keep it on May seventh, right? Because they're they're doing it on Disney Plus or movie theater, so you have a chance to see it in the movie theater or Disney Plus on May seventh. But they pushed it back two months, and I believe that could be for several reasons. One, more people could be vaccinated, so maybe Disney will think more people go to the movie theaters. Maybe again, capacity could increase. Um, so maybe uh, orange here for here in LA. In Orange County and San Francisco, um, movie theaters can bump up to 50%. Maybe in other places, movie theaters can, maybe in New York, movie theaters will go up to 50%. By then, maybe there's just a lot more time for that. Two, it could be what Disney also loves, and that synergy. Disney loves synergy. The reason why Tower of Terror was changed to Guardians of the Galaxy instead of Spider-Man or uh, Doctor Strange, which, was, which were one of the first two concepts considered, was because Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2 was um, coming out and they wanted to, the ride to open up with Guardians of Galaxy 2, which it was supposed to do before it got delayed. Um, I think the movie I think the movie got delayed, actually. The ride still came out in, like in May, but the movie got delayed a little bit. But it was supposed to debut like on the same day or same week. And they're going to have, I think, the Guardians of Galaxy uh, Volume 2 premiere at Disneyland, or California Adventure, actually. So Disney loves synergy, right? So what better way to promote Black Widow than to open an entire Avengers campus with the movie Black Widow to coincide with the opening either that same day or that same week. Also, uh, Black Widow movie posters, of course, are being advertised on the Avengers campus walls at Touch of Disney right now because obviously it's the next Marvel movie. But there's Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is uh, shows the TV show, but it's at that's happening right now. But they're promoting Black Widow. Also, Black Widow's the the lands. The land has a villain. It's the main uh, villain for uh, the land is Taskmaster. Taskmaster is the main villain for Black Widow. A lot of these simulator similarities here, and I know obviously the land was planned to open obviously in July 18, 2020, and Black Widow was always coming out like in May. Um, I think it was May 2020, actually. But I think Disney has found the perfect opportunity to kind of promote both things and promote that synergy. And I think they're going to have, I think it's a good bet, at least a, a higher than, I'd say a higher than 50% chance that 
Black Widow and Avengers Campus will open on the same time at the same time, at least at least that week of July 9th. The Black Widow comes out on July 9th in theaters in Disney Plus, but I expect I'm gonna bet again, no confirmation, this is just my speculation. I'd say that Black Widow or Avengers Campus will debut during that week of July 9th. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm right or if you think I'm wrong. Let me let me, let me know those opinions. Press the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe for more theme park updates and to see when Avengers Camps will open. And as always, have a fantastic day.